Our pediatric acute care NP students have to deal with a wide variety of illnesses and injuries. Um, through their clinical experiences, they get to interact with patients with a bunch of different injuries and illnesses. But one thing that they usually don't get to interact with and hopefully never will have to is a mass casualty event. We start planning in January, about six months out from the actual simulation. We have to review the design from the year before to see if there's any changes we need to implement. 24 hours before we actually start the simulation, we start setting up. Just leave them laying on there with some blood and I can just prompt them that these are the two. Lilage blood on these two as soon as I can get the staples out. Getting all of our mannequins or our simulators into the rooms and then we spend about three hours of uh, prepping our mannequins with moulage. So we're trying to implement some realism into the scenarios where we uh, put on some uh, blood that looks real and uh, any other wounds that uh, the students may see. Where else are we supposed to be bleeding? Arms and leg. It, it stretches pretty good and looks pretty legit. So having the humans involved, especially when they're younger uh, students, because it is a bus crash of church members, so you know, you're gonna have different age ranges. So bringing the students in who are volunteers to help us with this uh, really brings the realism out for the actual students that are part of the simulation. So we use simulation as a way for them to get that experience in managing that type of event um, when they most likely won't have that during their clinical experience. Got three more injured coming up the hallway. They got to come through. I think it is so real for them. They love it. In our debriefings, they're always giving us uh, great feedback, um, and they also contribute to how we change it for the next year because they do give us feedback that help us uh, change it to make it a little bit more realistic. So our students graduate from UAB with the skills necessary to manage situations like this. And when they go out to whatever state they're gonna go practice in, they're equipped with those skills. And for me, knowing that our students are ready to take on that challenge and manage these really sick kids is really, really gratifying.